how are we all doing in the time of the coronavirus? The truth is, it's never easy for anyone. This is my quiet corner where I paint. My favorite topic is mountain painting, also known as Shan Shui. I remember when I first started as a beginner, I painted colorful peonies, lotuses, and herons before I was taught mountain painting. My initial reaction then was, why would anyone want to paint a mountain? It's drab, difficult with all its curves, bends, and valleys, and incredibly boring to me at that time. I've completed to the advanced level of Chinese painting, and today I've painted more mountains than anything else. The Yellow Mountain of Huangshan in Anhui, China, is the grandest of all mountains and the inspiration behind all of China's Shan Shui paintings. It is a tradition to paint flowing waterfalls in the valleys, a boat representing human activity, and fauna such as birds over the peaks. There is a calligraphy verse accompanying the painting, which reads, Yuan kan shan you se, jing ting shui wu shen, chun shu hua hai zai, ren lai niao bu ji. It literally translates into, Far away, the mountain is full of color. But when one goes up close, the running waters have no sound. When spring is gone, the flowers are still there. When man arrives, even the birds are not alarmed. It's really a description of a paradise that exists in a painting. The heart of Guohua is simplicity. In a complex piece like Shan Shui, a solitary boat accompanied by no more than two flying birds completes the poetic scene. I remember asking my teacher if I could paint more living things, and he told me it would be too much. My initial feeling was that mountains were cold. What I had perceived as isolation is in fact a poetic statement of serenity, peace and calm, being content with one's own presence, being alone. In this time of the coronavirus, as a medical doctor, I feel more acutely the emotional, mental and physical suffering of patients and of my fellow healthcare workers. There is no easy answer. It may help to remember that mankind intuitively views mountains as obstacles which are impossible to overcome. This may be a reality, but it's also a mindset. A mountain is never without its valleys, from which you have the waterfalls, the source of life, which then irrigate the mountain pastures. Chinese painting is unique as it is on the most delicate of all media, rice paper, created with just single strokes as any more will destroy the fragile paper. Sometimes we have the privilege to learn from mistakes, but many times in life we don't have the chance to. Life itself, as Xuanzi, is fragile and we have one chance to save others with the right actions. May we find strength and hope this way.